Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are reacting to Bacon's Bambi music video. Um, of course, everybody knows this is Becky and Week. Uh, BBH will be enlisting here soon in a couple of days. And he, of course, did his birthday slash goodbye V Live a couple of days ago. Um, and like, while that did make me sad, I like self torture apparently and decided to go listen to that live stage of paper cuts, XOLs, well you know which one I'm talking about. Um, and then proceeded to <laughs> quietly cry my eyes out and by myself in my room at like three o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> we're gonna good. be doing a whole bunch of baking content this week. Um, hopefully Kevin will learn a little bit about him. Um, soon we're gonna be doing the rest of the XO guides uh, here in the next few days. Um, so hopefully uh, Kevin will learn about XO in general. So, but you ready to get into, y'all, I'm so excited. If he doesn't, I like stayed up to watch this premiere. I don't stay up for very many premieres, but like this one I had to, cause like y'all know Bacon's my old bias. So he is, he is up there. He is like number one. No one can, I think he is the best soloist in, in the game. I'm like, mom, listen to this guy. This guy is the like male Whitney Houston. That so. is a bold statement. I said what I that said. That is a bold mm -mm. statement. I said what I said, y'all. It's a bold statement. <laughs> y'all know. Y'all y'all heard like y'all heard his newest album. He is he is you'll understand once we do an <laughs> album reaction. That's another thing. Um uh album reactions. Do we do do you, most people sh like stream theirs on Twitch because album reactions takes a long. Would you rather us do that or would you rather us like do one part of the album and then another part of the album. Let us know down in the comments, please. So, um, this is a fairly like longer song, so we'll get into it right now. Dope. So this is not based off the. the movie. It's got instances for the movie. Do you want the captions on? Sure. Yeah. So. You ready? Yeah. Let's do. It. I don't remember if we did that already, but. That's okay. I had a question in the middle of it, so it's fine. He smokes? Just no, like. he doesn't. He takes such good care of his voice. Y'all, I got chills the first time I watched this. You're so excited for this. Like other K pop idols were like, did y'all see new Bacon's new album, uh, new music video? Dreamies were talking about it in their newest uh, show. Oh my gosh. The, the production. The say, production, y'all. Is he going to Hogwarts? Like, what's up? The fit. This, remind, this gives me Polyphia vibes, the instrumentation. He's so cool. <laughs> that part's so satisfying. Bye. 
I want to know who the two backup dancers are. Queens. Mm. Nice. Two types of people: the ones that look like BB, look at BBH, the ones that look at the backup dancers. <laughs> So this is fit in the lore? This is, a, this is a separate thing. I think this is a separate thing. I don't think this fits in the lore. It might. I think it's like... It's like VCR or whatever does. But I don't think this song does. I could be wrong. I haven't really looked into the background of the song. But oh my god, y'all, that was a masterpiece. <laughs> I, when it premiered, I rewatched it like seven times. And then I had to go to sleep because it was like four o'clock in the morning. Yikes. But then I woke up and still repeated to listen to it all day. <laughs> nice. It's so good. Like if y'all knew me, y'all understand what high regards I hold Whitney Houston to. I think she is the best like female singer of all time. Like she was that good. Her national anthem, as many times as I heard it, is like implanted into my oh, brain. I definitely have. I de what's it? When this last last Super Bowl came and I heard the national anthem, I definitely tweeted out that like, Whitney Houston is by far like the go when it comes go. to like national anthem. Number one. Of, it was Cannot be touched. Yeah. So for me to be like, Vacants. The, the, That's what I'm saying. That's a bold statement, especially coming from, especially coming from you. If if you heard a couple of songs on his album, like I think it's all I got and Cry for Love. Whoo. Yeah. I didn't think those notes were humanly possible, but here they are. You'll understand when we do an album reaction, which we will do this week. So, but please let us know how you want us to react to that. We can do it on YouTube or we can do it on Twitch. Whatever y'all think. Um. So, what you what you think? Give me, give me your. <laughs> oh, now can I? I can talk. Give now. me your input. I can talk now. <laughs> Tell oh. me why you thought it was the greatest song you've ever heard. <laughs> but like the production, Kevin, the production of this. No, I know the. I know. Let me talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I I like this is kind of a, this is a side thing. I like when Emily talks about things she really enjoys because. What's it? How do I say this? Most of the times we're together, I talk about things that I like, and I forget that there are things that you like. So it's really yeah. nice and really nice to like know this side. Yeah, y'all, I love bacon, and <sighs> I'm we gonna know. be utterly depressed <laughs> the next two years. Uh, so what's it? No, I liked it. It gave me. I said I think I said it earlier too, but like, it gave me like Polyphia like vibes, like like nowadays Polyphia vibes, which is very like. Um. Weather and blues, kind of math rockish, and just like chill, like vibes in terms of the backing track. Like I can imagine myself playing along to this, when it and feeling like and feeling like kind of like the message of the, of the music, in it. That and I mean his vocal ranges, and just the timbre. I, I think it's just the timbre of his voice is that what what really like entices me. Because not only is it like, it's 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 comforting, it's yeah. very it's comforting and it's controlled. It's almost almost like, 
it's almost like you're being held or you're like being embraced by it yeah that's the thing that gets me so we have that plus the kind of like track that it, that that it's on it's just so overall it's just a perfect blend of a song it's, from the instrumentation to the vocals yeah, to it's so everything good. also where is he going hmm? was he going to hogwarts i don't know but i think every reaction i saw said something about hogwarts that's what it because that's like. the vibe it gave off yeah I mean, he was kind of, he kind of had the Michael Jackson fit on. Yeah, oof. With the fedora and Y'all, everything. Y'all, he looks so good in this music video. Mm. This was, no, this was the like top it. tier. Like, I, I've been putting it on my playlist. Yeah. Yes. I feel like when it comes to like K-pop and R&B, I feel like Bacon owns that genre. He does it so well. I don't, at least as of right now. I don't know if it's if, he, if he's better than Whitney Houston. I, as Hold, of right, as as of of right, right now, now, I understand it. He didn't hit the notes he hits in those other songs, but you will you will understand. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Don't get don't get me wrong. I loved it, but if you're going to compare him to Whitney Houston, <sighs> okay, we weren't going to react to this, but I kind of want to see whether or not Kevin is really an emotional person. So I want to see if this gets him. So this is Paper Cuts. It is the live Magical Circus 2019 at Sai... Is it Saitama? Saitama. Super Arena. So, it's like sad. I definitely think it'll hit you. Are those contacts here? Mm -hmm. And they look so good on him. It's human. He was about to enlist, I want to say, when this song came out, or when they did this performance. Supposed to happen? That's a really 
pretty valid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good. I'm just like the emotional. It's fine. Wait. Yeah, I know you're not crying. Mm-hmm. It's like one of those songs I feel like I can't talk through. Like I have to just like sit and absorb. Yeah. yeah. I did not expect Bacon just to like stop. Yeah, it was like he I think he made eye contact with Schumann and it just like an overwhelming sense of emotion came over. Mm. And uh he just he like couldn't he couldn't get the words out. Right. Cuz it felt too real at that point. Yeah. Yeah. It gave me goosebumps. I'll give it that. Yeah. But nah, <laughs> it did not make me cry, but it it, nope. is, it is a pretty, a beautiful ballad, though. I love it. Didn't make me cry either. <laughs> didn't you say, didn't you just say that you, that you don't, like, cry to this, though, before? No, I cried to this last night, but I didn't, I didn't cry. It's because I'm here. I yeah. promise you it's because I'm here. Every time I could feel it, like, overflowing, I'd be like, Okay. <laughs> No, I, lo- I love it. I think, uh, honestly, I will say this, though. Because, like, when I watch things or read things, I'm more inclined to cry at those. Because I am kind of a sensitive, emotional person. When it comes to music, I will say this. The only time I ever cried in, in terms of a musical thing is when I'm performing. I don't think I've, pr- like, if I'm... The- if I'm listening to a song in the car and I'm emotional or at an emotional point and, and I start belting the song, I will most likely tear up and cry. But never, like if I knew like the exact words, pronunciations of like the song and I just sang in the car and it was like at the right moment, I would probably be bawling. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest and say that because it is a beautiful song. Like, don't get me wrong. I... This is also going on the playlist, but like a different playlist. This is the sad. This is the sad boy playlist. Yeah, this is the sad boy playlist, but it's, it's. I was gonna tell you this too, but like in like what's it in Bambi, I was actually gonna try to learn how to play that on guitar. I actually kind of want to learn how to play this on piano. It's because it's, it's that. So good. It's so. It I means a beautiful song. It's uh, uh, like I'm usually fine until Bacon like stops, and then it's just like. I don't know if y'all feel this, but like when you have an emotional attachment to someone and they get emotional, it's like you don't want them to feel that way. So you like share that burden with them. So. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Wow, well, see, you do have empathy. Look at you. <sighs> y'all, really, I do. Just not for Kevin. <laughs> she does not. That's oh. funny. I think she said, you're an exi- I think she told me that your entire existence existence is a nuisance <laughs> i think though that was those are the words verbatim no, that was a joke um but when he makes jokes and stuff and whatever and gets on my nerves <laughs> it's entire existence. that's kind of our that's kind of our relationship in general yeah i'm the more affectionate one and she's not i am the win-win of the group yeah i am the don't know who i would be so i, I was about to say lucas i'm like hold on no 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 no, no. I wish I was, but no. But not even his like personality doesn't match yours. Mm, I would say the protectiveness instincts is, yeah. like, I am protective of, of others. But yeah, we're getting sidetracked yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love, I loved it. I think it was beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Well, show, I'll show him miracles in December at some point. Um, because it's also another beautiful ballad. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Comment um, how you feel about this week, especially my fellow bacon bias um, biases. Uh, but yeah, be on the lookout for our next EXO content, our next EXO video. Um, it should be coming out soon. Um, but yeah, we've enjoyed it and we will see you guys next time.